Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. The link to my Patreon will be listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God. So the energy that I'm channeling based on the Claudia message I've received, which is the word ethereal. <clears throat> so the energy that I'm channeling is of ethereal energy um, based on a demigod um, who exists in one of God's closest domains. Um, God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine has favorites as we all pick and choose when to abide by his laws of life he can pick and choose who he likes best deal with it okay god does have favorites but not everybody claiming that they are is really that but back to the energy of this message let us tap in and see what all this is about that was a channeling okay <laughs> all right So, remembrance, memories, play by play, fast forward, play back, fast forward, play back. All right, all right. We have the Seven of Wands. Followed by the Ten of Wands. Ooh. So something hit somebody really hard here, all right? With regards to you, like this person is wearing something on their shoulders. It's it's that heavy. Um, this person they tend to overthink a lot. All right, but when it comes to you as well, it's it's odd because they don't like to think in general. Like so, this is. A masculine energy that I'm channeling here like they tend to shut out they ghosts. like I don't want to hear that like I get that but this that and the third like they just an uninterested nonchalant individual overall really so furthermore we have the four of pentacles <laughs> this person they haven't stepped forward yet it's not to say you don't know them or anything like that but it's to reassure you that they're already in your presence or have been there once before. All right, take it out of resonance. Um, three of Wands. This person is planning to reach out to you. Um, it's a goal that they have for themselves. It's something they need to challenge themselves about. It's something they need to figure out as well within themselves um, as back to the fact that this situation already is making this person 
irritated about themselves like why do you care so much or why are you overthinking so much about her so this is towards a feminine energy who i just wanted to blur out and say it and say who has a masculine that a masculine energy who wants to come forward and express love to all right so you are in the Queen of Cups energy towards this masculine. They see you as a Queen of Cups. All right. Somebody who they love and they have love for. All right. Um, I find myself wanting to straighten my back. Like, <laughs> you know, I got to act right or whatever. Let's see. Four of Cups. Energy. Hmm. Well, the Page of Wands energy. Interesting. On top of all of this, though, we do have Sagittarius energy, Leo energy, um, Virgo energy. Scorpio energy, Aries energy, double Aries energy, double, triple, no, double Sagittarius energy, triple Aries energy. Whew, that was a lot. We also have Capricorn energy here. Lastly, Seven of Cups, more Scorpio energy. All right. A lot of twos, synchronicities, two, two, two. The number two itself, the symbolic associate of numerology, numerology two. So take that how it resonates as well. If it does within your reality, don't try to make it your story if it isn't. All right. So the, this masculine energy is stuck in some form of dilemma, like within themselves like you know when you have a, your own vision of where you see yourself or what you see yourself obtain achieve and where you align yourself in the future and things of that sort when you reflect on futuristic ideologies you oftentimes picture yourself in the situation you want to be in so this masculine is feeling the need to address himself because he's in this constant state of being of you know it's very intense what i'm getting it's like they really want to do something here very strange and odd or you see there's It's like they trying to <laughs> like no that's not how i feel type of energy <sighs> but this person they can't help how they feel in life we tend to like to not want to surrender because what are we surrendering to right I mean that's the crisis that we're in right now nobody really knows what they truly believe in and if they do truly have belief it needs constant reassurance constantly because if you look at it within how we are as humans and the anatomy itself behind it we have so many atoms operating within us in cells and we we are a science in that sense meaning that like there's certain things within ourselves that we can't explain but we try or we tend to want to have an explanation to context contextualize it because we doubt because truly we don't know but that got deep unnecessarily. 
for a reason. This masculine energy is at a point in his life where he wants to make you a wife. And this is something that he has never thought of doing, like, or being, or... It's like a fear of his that constantly follows him because of, well, God knows what, because I'm not seeing it here, but a bunch of things could be major contributing factors to this masculine's traumatic approach to love or what love means to him because we don't walk the same paths we don't carry the same emotions and feelings towards the same capacity to people or ourselves we just don't know someone can say they feel a certain type of way about you but but if they just don't or not in the way that you think But it's damaging to the soul to think, oh my goodness, this could be me saying, you know what, this is it for me. But the other person's like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. Yeah, right. This life, you know, but that's the test of life where we have to trust ourselves this masculine has to trust himself if he perceives you to be his queen of cups within his life reality and world no he's queen of love he's the queen of pentacles the queen of uh, wands the queen of swords and all those reflect back to the king they said king of swords the king of cups king of wands a king of pentacles and they're linked they're not opposites there is a link to it so this masculine energy wants to experience his queen of cups through you and it could have been replaced with multiple different things like people fall in love with money people fall in love with lust or any or alcohol you know multiple things and drinking wine every day is a sign to whoever is trying to avoid that but this is to say you guys you're dealing with someone here who wants something very serious now it's like okay i'm not playing anymore this is it for me and i as crazy as that sounds i'm willing to risk it now i have to say the comic justice bit of how this plays out is on your end because i am saying that as well you need to be true to this don't decide to humiliate a man for his own ability or play this on any power tool because that will return upon you as well and at a time in your life where you need none of that you can shatter your world by being disobedient person to the laws of life that do you what you want unto the world as it will be done unto you thy kingdom come you walk this journey of life this path of life this walk of life you experience wonderful situations memories and things we'll never forget and what if this is one of them for you but because your darkness followed you if it does take it out of resonance you refuse to see that You refuse to understand that, like, when you lose out on a good person, you really lose, like, your spiritual rank. Because all you will be surrounded by in the end is negativity, and that's where the devil resides. That's his domain. So pick wisely what you do with this information. Pick wisely what you do with this reference of life as well because i'm serious you guys don't understand how real this is for me if i was not who i say i am i'd be living a ter it would be tragic like i'm out your line you guys or something 
Like, who gets beat up for that in the end? Me, right? Yeah. Me. So, you have to do with this information as you may. Up to you. But understand, karma is real. Don't do people wrong if they didn't do you no harm. And even if they do do you harm, learn. Not to say, oh, it's easy. I said, learn to let things go and not be the enemy. By taking form of what the enemy has done to you and avenging yourself. Opportunities like these are rare if this really resonates with you. Someone truly has love for you here. This masculine. And you're being called to do and say and stay a high vibrational woman. Of God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. Be a good steward, right? That's what they say, right? 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 Let's see what else. comes out for this energy Oof. I'm seeing you know the human anatomy of breasts and just the feminine phenomenon you know the female phenomenon you guys sometimes I gotta turn a little bit so there are females talking about the fact that this masculine is disinterested in them you know Like these females are not getting any attention from this masculine and if they're getting attention it's just like this masculine's form of entertainment right it's not deep or symbolic to him but these women want it to be like that i am channeling a breed and archetype of women that are of the femme fatale breed you know, the woman of destruction, the woman of the night, the scarlet, the whore, you know, stank. That's what I'm channeling here. These women here want this masculine to walk away from me. It's like, you think they don't know it's you. That is causing this you might not know <laughs> you might not intentionally be doing anything obviously right or it's just not even a thought to you but these women here whether you care or not they're watching they on your ass they they're trying to figure out information about you what you know who you are as if you some form of like method or theme or <sighs> like boss or something like that by method i mean blueprint hmm, interesting We have the King of Swords energy. Yo, this man is embodying the King of Swords energy towards these women, and they're embodying the King of Cups energy towards you. Mm. Like this man, really, like they want to do so much when it comes to. You. But let's not get carried away, because I felt that energy. You know, let's discuss the point that. With the temperance here, this masculine feels like the situation could go either way, meaning it could work out and it could not. And he has decided he wants to take the risk. So he is not just planning to reach out or step forward or step in or step into the position in your life. But it's like they've already accepted it.
Like this man, I'm not gonna like these women. They are the type of woman that it's like how I look right now. Where I got the red lip, right? Um, I got the black dress. I got the glasses. I got the the the, the weird hair or the obscure looking hairstyle. And then I I come in looking like this poison, but like you want to die. <laughs> For real, though, like he deals. Okay, not when I say he deals, it's like he usually it's common for him to attract those type of feminine energies. Um, I guess maybe he is a dominant masculine, one which is within that dominant energy. Like they just, like they just you know, this lion or just this, you know, king of the jungle energy. So he got, I also feel like despite the king of swords being the only king out here, I do, I am channeling that this masculine is also within the king of wants energy towards you very attractive okay to you and that's the thing he just wants you there is nothing what can they do about that <laughs> what you know what i mean he knows what he sees he knows what type of archetype a kind of breed or fem feminine energy you are, a female, a female. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. The link to my Patreon will be listed in my description box below. Um, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.